we've got uh, the unveiling of the new EC135 T2 Plus that's been upgraded recently by Bond Air Services. Uh, we've been spending probably two years now through a tender process and uh, the design and production phase of getting a new aircraft or a, an upgraded aircraft into service with the National Police Air Service. We've been working quite closely with Bond and designing the various elements that uh, have all come together from the various suppliers that are here today uh, into what is now the final product and unveiled ready for operations um, coming up the next few weeks. Well we've had a variety of different types and variations of the types within NPAS and now we are coming to a point where in the past we'd have probably replaced the aircraft but with budget constraints that we've got we now need to look at the longe longevity of each of the aircraft. So we have seven aircraft which are of the T2 variety and we split the project into two which the first part was a performance upgrade which has been performed on all the aircraft. Uh, the aircraft behind me was a T2 and that's been upgraded to a plus now which gives it a greater all-up weight and better performance and the strand of the project that Bond have been working with us on is the mission system upgrade. So the aircraft behind me uh, formerly had an older uh, camera system and various other elements to the interior of the, air of the aircraft which are more akin to some of the older pieces of software that are available. So we've been working with suppliers such as CartNav and Wescam to bring us up to the newer technologies which we're all more familiar with, with smartphone technologies and the ability to uh, have touch screens and pinch and zoom and the interoperability between the cameras and the mission systems that we've been uh, integrating with. Well, our job is primarily to support the officers on the ground. Uh, they call upon us to provide them with a service. Uh, in the past we could provide them so much and now that we've got the upgraded equipment actually we can provide them with so much more. We've got the ability to provide them with um, better images in a more timely fashion, uh, the ability to um, assist them with all the operations that they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yep. So we've got seven aircraft that are being done, this is obviously the first one. Uh, this has taken a little bit longer than anticipated but that's obviously because it's the first prototype. Uh, the, the subsequent aircraft we're looking at potentially a four month uh, period between uh, one aircraft going in and then coming back out into service. We've got internal training being done by NPAS, myself and one of my colleagues who's another trainer at Borum. Uh, we'll be going around the various bases and training the staff up there in a, in a two-week program. So we're expecting this aircraft to come online and operational within November and then we'll st see the next aircraft go in for upgrade after that. So we'll see an upgrade period of over the period of 2016 and 2017 before all seven are completed.